Hello, this is Jeff Ryle from G4 Geomatic Resources in Houston. And today we're going to go over uh, Infinity Office software. We're going to import some TPS data from a total station. And um, what we're going to do is take a look at the field data report. We had a couple of resections and we collected some data. And then later on, there's going to be a, some control points. We want to reshift all the points to a shift rotate scale to warp into some local control like plant control. Uh, compare those residuals and uh, make sure everything's okay. And then get this data that's in good shape relatively into this new coordinate system after the fact. And then we'll export that raw data. So let's take a quick look uh, at the G4 Geomatic Resources Houston team. This is myself, Jeff, John of Work and Support, Ronald and Seeley in the office to handle service. So all our information's here. If you need any help, feel free to reach out to us. And uh, there's also a support number for Leica, the 800 support number and the uh, support email for Leica Geosystems as well. All right, uh, what we'll do is we'll quickly get into Infinity. So right now we have some data imported. So to import the data, I just hit import here, and then you can point towards your DBX job. And if you wanted to, there's a filter here if you want to filter by time or date. Um, in this case, I'm just going to bring all the data in. So it actually have, has two, two jobs here. So I can turn these jobs off and on. If I do do that, you'll see the data from that job will disappear. And uh, right now we shot some points in. I, I drew a series of lines here because the control points, I'll draw, uh, you'll see the similar line that's rotated to see that there's a rotation and a shift to get up to the new plant control points. These yellow vectors are from our TPS setup. So if I wanted to turn that off and go to layer manager and just scroll down, down here and I'll say TPS observations. I'll just turn off that layer. And that way we'll just see the points there it might make it easier to, to have a look at. So if I came here to one of my jobs, I can just um, highlight that job, right click, go to data report. And this shows all the data that was collected in the field. Okay. So it's just a handy report that you can print out and we average some shocks. And if I go to the inspector tab, what I can do is if I go to TPS, these are our resection setups. So if I want to click on a resection point, I can just click on it. And that down here says setup report. And this is a nice report that we can scroll down and it'll show this is a resection uh, for TPS 02. And it'll show the target points that we measure to and the coordinates of those points. And if we scroll down here, I show the residuals. So the, the residuals of the east ends and north ends and elevation um, of all those observations to determine our resection. This is just a handy report, just to make sure that our resection is good. Um, and that means the points we collected are in good shape. And now we're gonna shift, rotate and scale into this new coordinate system. So what we did, um, if we come back here and review, these are the points that we collected. If I scroll back out, you'll see up here is the control points. And that's what we're gonna rotate into. And I, I drew a line similar, so you can see there's a rotation of you know, probably around 25 degrees of these points as well, okay? So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna scroll back down and I'm gonna select these points because these are all the points that we surveyed in. And we wanna rotate into our new, uh, plant or local coordinate system. And it's almost like similar to like RTK. In RTK, we can do a one step to rotate into a system. And uh, after the fact, we can use this shift rotate scale by points as a way to do the same procedure like a one step is it for GPS. So I hit the shift. I can draw a box around all these points. And these are the points that I wanna do my shift rotate and scale. And we'll come up here. And there's a little button here called shift, rotate, and scale. So hit that. And I can pick, I'll say, use common points. Okay. And our rotation is going to be using common points. And uh, our scales can be used common points as well. Okay. So what we can do is hit next. And what we want to do is then match our points up. So we want to go from 1,000 to 1,000 CP. Hit this button here. 1001 observed will match up with the 1001 CP. I want to use four points. 
exception redundancy in the 1002 will match up with the 1002 CP. And these points, these CP points, I could have typed them in if, if someone gave me these control points as well. In 1003, it's going to be matched up with a 1003 control point. Okay. And if we come down here, you'll see that we can match up position height. You can change that as height only or position only, or if the results were bad, you can set none and make sure these other ones agree. But we'll leave it there, position and height, and you'll see that right now our residuals are looking pretty good in our northern, eastern, and height. And right now we're in metric. You can change this to feet if you wanted to. Okay. So once again, if we go back, we just hit column in points, um, hit next. There's our residuals, hit next. And what it'll do, it'll show the uh, delta northern, delta eastern shift. Uh, the elevation didn't shift much. The rotation is around 14 degrees, and there's a little bit of a scale, but not too much. And um, what we can then do is, if you click this little box down here, it'll show that report. So if we hit finish, um, it'll print this report, and it'll show all the residuals, all the points that we rotated. If you scroll down to the bottom, it'll show the residuals. So this is a handy report that we can print out or print to a PDF to give to our, our, our client to show um, how well that that shift rotate and scale in that new system worked, okay? All right, so now if we scroll up, I'm just gonna click one of these points, center, and now our points have now, these other points have rotated in. So these other uh, points we shot in are now rotated into the new system. And now we can export these. And uh, we should see like 1,004. There should be several points here. So there's some common points. There's some overlaps. Okay. So if we, uh, they're very, very close together. So if I came here and measure point to point, and then we measured the observed, 1005 to the 1005 control point to compare them, then we can see that they agree you know, within a couple of millimeters. So that these are just some check shots, 1005 and 1004. So once again, if we do the same thing for 1004, I'd like to keep a couple points open as a check shot just to make sure that everything coincides. And then once again, that's within a less than a millimeter. So that way we didn't use these in the transformation, they're check shots, and that way the proof's in the pudding that everything agreed very, very tightly. Okay, all right, so now all our data is once again shifted over. We're in the new uh, coordinate system, 1,500. And then I can just want to export that data, say export all the data, or I can select the points I only want to export. So if I just wanted just these points here with the points that they need in the new coordinate system, I can just say export that selection there if I wanted to, or all the data. Most of the times you get all the data, but in this case, let's just use the selection. And what we can then do is say, right, when export uh, ASCII file, point number northern eastern height code, and I'll just call this test data. And we'll hit export. All right. So I come down here. There's my test data right there. So I can open that file. And then there's the points that we shot in. And then the new coordinate system. Uh, and there's my coordinates. So it's rotating that new system. Okay. So that's just a quick overview of um, how we can export data. And uh, in this case, I exported them in a different, if you come in here, I'm just gonna double check one set and I might have exported them in feet. So I came in here and edited that. See, I, I, I picked USB. So if I wanted them in metric, I can come down here and, and change that back to metric. But my, my template here was actually to export it in using US survey feed even though my raw data here was collected in metric, okay?
And if I wanted to work everything in feet, I can just come down here and change from metric to US feet right here. And I can pick the decimal place. And that, that will then convert it over as well if I want to view all my data here, whether I want to view it in metric or in US survey feet. All right, so that's a quick overview of just how to do shift, rotate, and scale. Very simple. The uh, shift, rotate, and scale is included with the basic package. So it's just a handy little tool that we can use uh, to rotate existing con uh, collected data into like a plant or local control point, especially using TPS data. So I hope you found that helpful and beneficial. Have any questions, feel free to reach out to us.